Morning guys, Matt here from HAL Heavy Duty. In this video, we're going to be machining inserts for flanges for the mega drill that we're currently constructing. So for those of you that are new to the channel, we are a real live machine shop that specializes in the drilling industry and our current project, like as in the big project other than repairs and all that kind of stuff, is we are building a three meter mega drill that's gonna be off the back of a truck to drill three meter diameter holes up to 250 or 300 meters deep. The drill itself is going to, we predict, weigh about 18 tons. And if you stay tuned to the, the channel and you subscribe, you're gonna see over the coming months all the components that we're getting individually assembled. And at the very end, I will show you a shot of it getting taken out to work on the back of a prime mover. This thing is absolutely massive. Like to put it in perspective, it's nearly the height of this shed. This is a six meter shed, so the diameter of a six meter roof shed, the diameter of this drill is gonna be somewhere to the tune of halfway up that door. It is enormous. You'd barely be able to get it through that door. Anyway, that's the exciting stuff that we're doing and I'll be sharing with you a little bits as we go along. Now in this, uh, this is flange three, of insert three of three, and the first two machined up so nice, I just thought, man, you guys might wanna see this. There's some pretty heavy cuts on the outside, so we're doing three mil depth of cut on a WNMG. The max you can do is 4.5, so you could go heavier, but it's good enough. It looks fantastic as it comes off. Some really nice chips come off this. Um, if there's any more experienced machinists watching this, you'll see that a part of it, we've gotta do some internal grooving. I struggle to get this thing to chip. If you have some feeds and speed suggestions, please drop them in the comments. I'm always trying to improve what we do in here. And you know, we're, we're up in the middle of central Queensland. Some of the best advice I actually get is from you guys who tune in, who might be over in the States or in Germany or God knows where, who are like, hey, try this, it works for me. And I appreciate that. I'm not at all, like there's no ego involved with this. We're just trying to get the job done. And I like to share with you a little window into our world. So let's go and machine this up and I'll see you back at the end. He's a good boy. Hey, buddy. Let's go machine some stuff, hey? Yeah.
course, the moment of truth. <coughs> Perfect. That'll get welded in. And have a life down a hole somewhere. Nice. All right, so that's it. All three are done, and I've just been past the drawings. See that there? That is going to be the largest crossover sub we have ever built in 60 years. It's for the mega drill, and this thing's probably going to weigh about a ton. We're going to do it in this lathe here in a future video. I haven't even ordered the steel yet. I'm still figuring out how on earth I'm going to do it. It's, here is like an episode of Jaws most days, which is like, I'm going to need a bigger boat. We are looking at getting a mega ball lathe, which will be freaking awesome. That's an 18 ton bit of gear. We'll see if it happens yet, but we're getting so much stuff now that's beyond the capacity of even our big lathe. Even the Hulk has been maxed out here now. Um, so there's a lot of exciting stuff happening. If heavy duty machining is something you're interested in, you're in the right place, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, it helps us grow. And I do appreciate it. Like so many of you have reached out and commented and it's great. By the way, if we have experienced machinists who have tuned into this channel, if you have experience with how to get the internal uh, grooving bar, so I had that running at a feed of uh, 0.16, uh, VC of 100 on 4140 steel. I know that sounds like gibberish to some people, but a machinist is sitting there going, yeah, this is how you can fix it. Let me know how we can make it chip. I've been trying for ages, had very little success on that. Everything else pretty, goes pretty well. That is just the tool that vexes me. So if anyone there can help, I would appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.